Okay, a video for my breast implant illness. Friends, how are you all? Some days are good, some days are bad, right? With this breast implant illness crap. Feeling really depressed and lonely today. And I've walked, drove around for about 40 minutes, having a drive on a Saturday. And I feel really friggin' tired in every part of my body. And it's an exhaustion and a fatigue that feels like your whole body is poisoned. And I can even taste a bit of like a weird taste in my mouth like silicon like it it's like a plasticky taste do you guys get that it's really weird so i'm out in the bush today just having a little walk and um my arm's already hurting just from holding this up so i'm presuming today's a bad day for breast implant illness I've had it for seven years in the last four to five to six years has been the worst. The worst has been the last two to three. Um, with two operations, one botched. The next one, she says she got it all out. All the capsules that the first botched one left in. So I've had two botched surgeries, really bad botched, where they left the silicon in me and just presumed that it doesn't matter if you leave the capsules in. So just get the old implants out, even though they're ruptured and all the silicones are left in you to absorb into you, which has been a catastrophe, guys. It's been a catastrophe. It really has. Um, so when you get your explant, if you're starting to get breast implant illness symptoms, such as hair loss, vision loss, severe fatigue, pains in your bodies and joints. Uh, you might be getting a lot of UTIs. Uh, the first signs are exhaustion, like so tired, you're just in bed all the time. Uh, and your mind, let me talk about that. So going mental, going completely crazy, feeling like you're crazy. Your thinking is so crazy and scattered and mental and you are absolutely you're even acting crazy like you're even you're even your actions and your emotions are so insane right and that was me and i still am dealing with that four operations later seven years later i've got the implants in seven years ago less than a year later i had a ruptured implant that i had them removed and replaced not knowing that it was going to make me sick but my intuition said that it was going to but any doctor that I was calling to remove them did not say you had to get the capsules out they just said you'll be protected by the anyway long story short you aren't protected by the capsules the capsules hold the silicon in, in it and um, you absolutely need to get them out so my results now after all of this shit I've been through I'm wearing a wig I've lost a lot of vision I'm exhausted and tired and fatigued all the time just like in every cell of my body it is shit because I'm presuming the silicones are in me everywhere I'm presuming I'm hoping I'm trying not to think like that but that's probably the truth right everyone says be positive but at the same time you feel like you you're just sick like you feel like you're just sick like, like I don't know if you guys have got that and repeating myself too, saying something about five times three to five times you've already said it and you're having a conversation and you realize you just mumbling and talking to yourself and 
you're basically feeling crazy. Your brain is not your, like, like you can't control your brain. It's like you can't have any control over your thoughts. And it's bizarre because you're normally not like that. And can't spell anymore properly. Your mind is a fog. So you feel real foggy in the head the way you're thinking. It's, it's disastrous. It's hard to explain the mental stuff, but the mental stuff is like you're a nutcase, basically. And back in the day, they used to lock women up for that. But when really, they were getting poisoned by heavy metals and silicon is what was going on with them. It's still going on today. Millions of women, hundreds and thousands and millions of women are going through this. Get your implants out, get your capsules out and completely remove them. And you will feel better, you will get better. Like I'm a little bit better um, compared to what I was like when all that silicon stuff was like in me and all of that. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have my bushwalk now. Here I am. And not to mention, um, on top of all that, your face like sags and your skin gets older and thinner and it like breaks easier and it's like, I have this. If you can see it, like all wrinkles around my fingers, like that's the first thing I noticed when um, my right breast implant ruptured um, was all of that wrinkling was going into my, this hand, my right hand. That's the silicon that's definitely poisoning, poisoning me. You just know. And then you've got people around you saying, like doctors, professionals, saying they literally just shaking their head. They don't want to know about it. I have at least eight doctors say they don't want to touch me. They don't want to go near me with my rupture. So it tells you a lot. They want to put them in. But when there's trouble, they don't want to get them out. So anyway, that's my video update for now. Having a bushwalk, getting some exercise. As much as I feel fucking exhausted, I'm doing it. And I'm trying to get some sun, but at the moment, there isn't much. So yeah. Bye for now, guys. Any questions, let me know. And you'll get me on my Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. Bye.